live. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug Groen. Groen should be joining us shortly. Anyways, uh, thank you to Rowan for last night. He uh, he did this without me last night, so I guess if he misses tonight, we're even. But anyways, tonight we're reading from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, beginning in verse 14. Welcome to a moment of joy. I encourage you to read along with us. 2 Corinthians is quite a ways into the Bible. It's in the in the last quarter, maybe the last fifth. It is about a, oh, let's see here, there's Romans, there's, there we go. It's about halfway through your New Testament. It comes uh, after 1 Corinthians and before Ephesians and before Galatians too and I don't know anyways okay um yes second Corinthians chapter 6 beginning in force <clears throat> verse 14 <clears throat> do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I will live with them and walk with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore, come out for them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the, Lord's all, says the Lord Almighty. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us pure ourselves purify ourselves from everything that contaminates the body and spirit perfecting holiness out of reverence for God any questions no. do you have any idea what we're talking about no. shall I read it together shall I read it again Did you read that? no I, I, I'm, I don't eat chips I haven't eaten chips in like a year where did it go? I don't know. It could have been just an empty container that... Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't touch it, dude. I don't trust you, but okay. I, I seriously didn't eat them. I, I, first of all, I, I haven't eaten chips in a long time, but I definitely wouldn't eat chips during Lent. So, I didn't eat them. Okay? I, t I seriously didn't. So don't even look at me like that. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if nobody has any questions, if you do have questions about this, and this is this is one of those passages that people do have a lot of questions about. This is one of those passages that gets thrown around a lot. Uh, 6.14 to 7.1. That's what I read last. Did you? Yes. Oh, well then let's read on then. Uh. Oh, well. No, you know what? We'll just read on tomorrow. Um, yeah. So if you got questions, Rowan's read it. It's an important passage. So important we read it twice. So, anyways, we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30. Oh, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and all you've given us. We thank you for your word, and we thank you that we, we can read from it, and we can meditate on it, and sometimes it makes sense to... to Reread and rethink. And we praise you, Lord, and we pray that you we would learn from the passage you would have us learn. As we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Alright, um Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow evening at eight thirty. I don't think there's anything else to add. Do you got anything to add? No. Nope. Bye bye.